Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new review. And first, we have to review uh, the Dark Angel name characters. And now I'm going to review the HQ characters, all the generic ones. And we have some that are uh, special for uh, the Dark Angel. So we will start with the interrogator, interrogator chaplain uh, that can, uh, yeah, it's costing. Uh, the interrogator chaplain is costing 85 points, and if it goes in jump pack, 103 points. You also have, uh, later on we are going to see, we have also the Terminator version, and the Terminator uh, version is costing 125 points. So, uh, interrogator chaplain have a movement 6, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 3, strength 4, toughness 4, 5 wounds, 3 attacks, leadership 9, and 3 plus 8. So this is better than uh, the chaplains from other uh, chapters. And the reason is because they are from the inner circle, and according to the flap, they are high in ranks of the uh, Dark Angels. They are quite important characters inside of the Dark Angels. Uh, it's a character that is uh, really oriented into the close combat. Okay, can change the pistol he has via other pistols, you can put a plasma pistol, or combi weapons, or any weapon from the melee list that is very different from other chapters. So he can take, for example, a, a thunder hammer, or he can take other things that are on the weapon, on the melee weapons list. So he can be more personalized than uh, in other chapters. Uh, of course, he will keep the causes arcana, so he, if you put a second melee weapon, he will not have any more uh, shooting uh, ability. Uh, he also can replace, can take a power fist on top, so he, he can go with a pistol, a power fist, and uh, the Quasius Arcanum. Uh, this model uh, can take a, a jump pack, as, as I say, and it will create increase the movement. So he is really a guy too, because uh, with the uh, spiritual leaders, that uh, units uh, within six inches can use the. This is not that important, leadership nine, if, if you. It's mainly if, if you want to support the uh, assault uh, marines, and then we have the litany of hates. You can reroll fail hit rolls uh, on the fight phase uh, of Dark Angels units within six inches of this model. So, as I said, it's really uh, and it's subtracting one to the leadership of the enemy. So, a guy, as I say, a guy that goes directly into the close combat to support other units. He's from the inner circle, so it means that he's immune. Uh, he does not uh, pass moral checks uh, or pass automatic moral checks, and uh, also have a special um, or have a boost when he's fighting against uh, um, falling dark angels. So, as I say, uh, as, as in other chapters, he is uh, close combat oriented and is very is also oriented to support other units. So I will put him on the second rank on the close combat and go together with a quite a strong close combat unit to give these rerolls. And I will say that uh, at the beginning of the combat you want him as a supporting character and later on you want him as uh, another um, character that can go into close combat. Uh, the resiliency is not that high, uh, 5 wounds, remember any character can today be, be killed quite fast in close combat if you don't take care. Uh, it's 5 wounds, so it's more wounds I think than the normal chap uh, chaplain. And he has of course the 4, uh, four plus in vulnerable save, so the save will never be worse than 3 plus. Okay. Uh, I will go, I will jump first to the interrogator chaplain in Terminator armor. And the uh, addition we have is he has one additional wound, his is lower, uh, and he has two plus armor save. It's mainly the, the, the but all the other, has, of course, on the teleport strike of all the uh, Terminators. So um, it's costing, um, it's about 30 points more, no, 40 points more than the normal, but of course, uh, and then you have to add the, the equipment uh, that he's having. We have better uh, shooting abilities, and he can ca have combi weapons from the uh, Terminator list. He cannot substitute the cross user cannon by any other means, by any other weapon. So uh, it's less personalized. Uh, if you are playing a death with having, can be good. But I will say the interrogator chaplain. You don't need to go in Terminator to give the abilities of the uh, interrogator chaplain. If you just want 
the basic abilities. Uh, all the interrogator chaplains are from the inner circle, doesn't matter if they go in Terminator or not. Uh, they represent that they are uh, really deep in the circles of knowledge of the Dark Angels. Uh, then we have, uh, uh, this is, was a new, a new character from this codex, never seen before, uh, and it's the Ravenwind Talon Master. So it's a line speeder that has movement 16 and 2 plus weapon skill, 3 plus ballistic skill, uh, strength 4, toughness 6, 6 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 8, and 3 plus uh, armor save. Uh, it has, and they shall know no fear and jink. Okay, I don't think you will use jink a lot because you, you, uh, you want to keep him more. Uh, uh, you want to shoot with him, he's going to be a shooting platform. He's equipped with a twin wing assault cannon and a twin heavy bolt and the power sword. So, in close combat, is not very strong uh, for attacks as a strength four is not that strong. But in shooting, uh, I think if you want this character, is because you want to support in the shooting. Has no escape, enemies do not gain uh, bonuses for saving throws. It is quite strong if you are, uh, especially because you will shoot. Uh, you will try to shoot infantry with these weapons. It explodes and have tactical positions. You can reroll wound rolls of one friendly dark angels units within six. He's synergizing a lot with the master that will give the rerolls to hit, or will synergize a lot with Samael. So if you put he, this guy and Samael next to him, you will reroll to hit with your um, Raven Wing units, and on top you will reroll once to uh, wound. And of course, the Samael also is giving the roll ones to wound to all that candle. So I think it's it's quite expensive in points because you have to pay. Uh, so the Raven Wing and Talon Master is 123, and you have to add the weapons on top. So you will need to add the twin, the the twin um, assault cannon and the twin heavy bolter. Uh, the twin assault cannon is quite expensive to uh, on points. Uh, is about 44 points, the Twin Heavy Walter is uh, seven, uh, 17, so this is about 60 something points. Uh, this we go to 200, and then we have to add on top the Power Sword, and the Power Sword is uh, 4 points. So it's going to be about 200 points for this character. So uh, if you put him and the Samael, it's going to be uh, 500 points uh, almost on these two uh, land speeders. They are characters, so they cannot be targeted. I suggest you use the other Raven Wings to screen him, or you put a very, uh, very cheap uh, unit on front so he cannot be targeted. Uh, it's a shooting and a supporting unit at the same time. Uh, this is Asmonite. We already covered Asmonite in the previous uh, video. Uh, and then we have the a standard chaplain. And the standard chaplain, I will say, uh, it's costing 72 points, I think, for. Uh, 13 points, I prefer to go with the Interrogator Chaplain. The Standard Chaplain have uh, one wound less uh, and does not have uh, have the Litteries of Hate as well. It's not Inner Circle and does not, it's not giving the... It's also a, a spiritual leader, so also is giving his leadership to the rest. So it's not giving the minus one. So really what you pay more for the Interrogator is the additional wound and is... Uh, the, uh, the ability to reduce leadership of your opponents. The rest is the same. So let me just uh, double check, but I'm pretty sure yeah, it's three attacks and the only thing that you are winning is the uh, one win more. So it's the Interrogator Chaplain is a little more survival. It's up to you if you want a, a cheaper Chaplain, you can also use the standard one. So it's I think that if you use Chaplain, it will be going to be between the Interrogator Chaplain and the uh, standard Chaplain. Then we have the primary Chaplain. Uh, the, sorry, uh, the primary Chaplain uh, is costing you 85 points. Uh, it has the same wounds as the interval, it has one attack more. Uh, it's also spiritual leader and it also has the leaderies. So it's the same point, the same points as the as the interrogator chaplain, but have a better shooting, and you have to pay this anyone. So I would say I prefer the interrogator chaplain, uh, especially for fluff and all these things. I will go first with the interrogator chaplain, the, the primary chaplain, although both options are good. So 
Uh, all the chaplains at the end have the same abilities and is a supporting unit uh, in the uh, in the close combat. So we go to the next one, and the next ones are the Librarians. The Librarian uh, is 88 points. If we compare with Ezekiel, that is the uh, the other the Librarian, and the name character is 135 points. So it's, it's uh, about 50 points cheaper, 45 points cheaper, but on top you have to pay the weapon. So if you want a cheap librarian, go for this one. And the model can attend to manifest to psychic powers as, as well as the uh, Ezekiel and can and deny one power. So I think can deny one power less. So it's less defensive. The other thing is that Ezekiel has the 4 plus invulnerable save, making him more resilient. Uh, librarians have not to be exposed too much to be shoot or to be attacked. If they are exposed to, be, they have to be in the second ranks or in the uh, have to be protected by other units. So librarians are really a supporting unit for your army. It's a supporting character. I think have, uh, you don't want to um, involve him too much into the close combat, uh, and you want mainly to use his um, abilities. I will go for the cheapest option on the close combat and the pole pistol. Uh, and give him as a support, use him as a supporting unit. So we have here the librarian, and then we have the primary librarian. It's a little bit stronger. I think it's one boom more, one attack more as usual. Uh, I will say the librarian is doing the same. Both do the same job. Both can attempt uh, manifest two powers and can deny one. So both will have the same function. I will go again in that case for the cheapest option. Uh, the primary is leveling is 93 points. It's just uh, 7 points more for the wound and the attack. If you have the 7 points additional, uh, it's good. If not, uh, yeah, I think the standard leveling goes well. And finally, we have the leveling in Terminator armor. This is from the inner circle. Uh, is the only one that is from the inner circle. Librarians are norm and together with the Ezekiel, normally librarians are. No, the primary librarian is also inner circle. All are the inner circle, sorry for that. So all librarians are inner circle at the end. Uh, he has the invulnerable save 5 plus, uh, but the librarian in Terminator is a little bit more expensive. Is 120 points. It's almost as expensive as Ezekiel because on top you have to put the weapons. Okay, you will need to pick for the force axe. Uh, the main element is armed with this force stave, so you have to pick one or the stave or the axe or the sword. Uh, it can in and can take item from the combi weapon list. So it's curious that it's not in the basic uh, of the terminator. So I, as I said, I think the events are not made to go into the close combat. I, uh, I, th I really think the Archangel Librarians are there to support other units and to fight from the distance. So I don't see the need to add addition to pay more for a Librarian. So we have seen the two types of characters, and the Librarian and the uh, um, Chaplains, and now we go to the ones that are more oriented uh, as a commander. So we have here the Master. The Master is I really like a commander uh, type of uh, character. So he has movement 6, 2 plus uh, weapon and skill, 4 plus strength and toughness, 5 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 9, and 3 plus uh, armor save. Uh, you also have the jump pack version, and the master is a little bit more expensive than the Liberian. It's No, it's cheaper than the Liberian. The Liber the, sorry. Cheaper than the Liberian, um, slightly uh, expensive than the Chaplain, and cheaper than the Interrogator Chaplain. So it's 74 points for a Master, and when it goes with a uh, Jump Pack, it's 93 points. So it's one of the cheapest characters we have here uh, in the HQs, and it's, uh, as a, uh, you can use it in two ways, but I think the best way to use him is as a very cheap character for oriented to support other units. He will have also the 4 plus in vulnerable save. You can skip, um, equip him with the storm shield with a 3 plus. And he has what is important he has the rates of the battle. So you can reroll hits of one made by the Dark Angel within uh, 6 inches of this model. I think this is the main ability you want to use from him. Uh, you can equip him with a combi weapon to have some distance ability, so you can be able to shoot from the distance 
or you can equip him with um, uh, oriented in the close combat. If you go into the close combat, then it's going to be much more expensive. Uh, if you put the relic blade, that is quite a good option. Uh, you have to add on him. It's uh, 21 points, so you will to you will go in the close to the 100 points with the relic blade and a pistol. Uh, you can also put on him a plasma pistol if you want or a combi weapon. Uh, as I said, uh, you, if you put the Storm Shield, it's also uh, the Storm Shield for character is 15 points. So if you want him reoriented into close combat with the Storm Shield and Relic Blade, you will pay a little bit more than 100 points. Uh, there is two ways to use him uh, as a close combat um, unit, uh, also giving uh, also working as support for the clo other close combat units. But I think if you go to the close combat. The interrogator chaplain is doing a better job, is much better supporting the close combat than the master. I think if you use the master, is more for a very cheap character that is in the uh, backyard, uh, just giving some support in the shooting. Uh, I think he's competing really with the interrogator chaplain. The interrogator chaplain is a little bit more expensive, is 85 points. Uh, we'll have one attack, uh, one less attack, but it will repeat all the hit rolls in close combat. So. I think it's going to be uh, a stronger option than the master for if you equip him for the close combat. Uh, we have other options for the master. We have the master in Terminator armor. Uh, he then is uh, becoming part of the inner circle. Uh, he can also be equipped with a, a storm shield. And we'll it's, it's the same as the other master. It's going to be more expensive, one move more, and two plus armor save. Uh, it's just in case you want, and you also can go in cataphracty uh, armor. So if the the master on Terminator is one hundred five, on Gravis is one hundred two, and in cataphracty is one hundred twenty six. To be fair, I don't think the cataphracty armor is adding so much. Yeah, the cataphracty armor plus is giving three plus in bonus, set, so it's equivalent to have the storm shield. So he does not need the storm shield. Uh, this really, if you want him to support uh, Terminators and you want to deep strike him together, I will say that I will only use a, a Terminator version if you want to deep strike with the rest of your army into the close combat to support the Death Wind. That way, they all can uh, be teleport together next to the enemy. I think this is the only option I see. And then we have the Primaris Master. Uh, Again, a, a more expensive version of the same master. And the only thing is that he has better uh, uh, sh um, shooting from the distance. The Primaris uh, master is 87 points. So, for, so the only advantage I see uh, versus the master is that it's also supporting unit with the plus one to save. And you can also add some shooting from the distance. He has this uh, Starker ball rifle. With 36 inches for strength 4, minus 2 AP, 2 damage. This is quite strong. Uh, oh, you can also use the Mastercraft Auto Ball Rifle. Uh, it's, auto, uh, it's very similar to a combi weapon, so to be fair. And the Plasma Pistol is not that uh, is the same. So the only thing if you want to use the Mastercraft Stalker Ball Rifle. And the, bo the Stalker Ball Rifle is two points so it's not that expensive so in case you want this type of shooting it's not a bad remember it's heavy one so you will if you move you will shoot on weapon skill a ballistic skill three he also has the four plus in multiple save so <clears throat> all on the same i will say the terminator options that you have in terminator armor you have in cataphracty armor and later on we will have in gravis uh, terminator armor all of them i think is more to if you want to support death wing I will say Belial is doing better job if you all want to support Death Wind, if you want just a second support. Um, and if you want a cheap support, go for the Master uh, or the Primaris Master with a, a very intense equipment. Here we have the Gravis, so I already covered all the Terminator options. It's 102 for the Gravis, 105 for the normal Terminator, and 126 for the. Uh, Cataphracty, remember Cataphracty have by default 3 plus armor save. Uh, it's like having a, a Terminator with, uh, with a stop shield. 
And then we have the Lithuans, uh, Lithuans. Um, he, uh, they are also, I would say, uh, keep them cheap as well, and they synergize very well with the master. Uh, you can reroll wounds of one Dark Angels units that are within six inches of any friendly Dark Angels lead to uh, <clears> none. <throat> sorry. They also can be equipped with a uh, jump pack. Uh, and we will have, uh, I will say, this guy will synergize very well with the Masters and will synergize very well with the Interrogator Chaplain. If you're using Interrogator Chaplain, a little one, I think it's a should be the cheapest option there is 60 points 78 with the jump pack uh, if you use you don't have the terminator version of the little one little one uh, you only have the i will say the primaries version and the normal version or jump pack version so again if you if you put him next to a chaplain you can make a very uh, strong uh, cross combat units that will repeat to hit and will repeat once to one. That is going to be extremely strong. Also, synergize very well with the master because oh, it will synergize very. If you put them, for example, the master on the lead one, very cheap. Don't pay any equipment. Just keep it basic. You put them next to a couple of units of devastators. And remember, it's archangels. The uh, vehicles will also repeat to one. So if you put next to shooting units, they will repeat to hit with the master, and they will repeat to wound with the uh, ability of the Lutheran. So uh, it's really there to give the boost, and in case in, uh, if you put, use him to protect um, uh, some shooting uh, options in case an enemy is getting close to you, you can uh, send the Lutheran uh, to the close combat. We also have the Tech Marine. Again, for me, I think Manning is another supporting character and is there just to uh, give the blessing of the Omnisia to Dark Angel vehicles, giving back this, these three lost wounds. Uh, it's also strong. Uh, Tank Manning is there to do, for me, two jobs. First is to repair vehicles to in, uh, increase the durability of the vehicles. Uh, the second option is in case an enemy is getting close to you, you can use the tank marine in close combat. It's not going to be uh, super strong, but it can make some damage in close combat as well. He's equipped with the power axe, the servo arm, and the ball pistol and frag and crack grenades. So I'm not I'm still not fan of the tank marines. Uh, and the only the other advantage is tank marine is super cheap 45 points so really compared to the all the other is the cheapest uh, hq option 45 points uh yeah only have three wounds it's really there to support your vehicles uh, if you want to go for a brigade and you don't want to exp uh, spend a lot of points on hq you want to spend more points on your units uh, tank marines two tank marines for 90 points you will cover the hq options so it's really, it's really uh, there uh, for a very cheap option on the HQ. Now you have to add the power axe and the servo arm. I don't think you have to pay for the servo arm. No, you only have to pay for the power axe. So that is five points. So 50 points for Tank Marine. The, the power pistol is for free. So 50 points, 100 points, you have two of them. So very, very, very cheap option. Uh, if you want more variety, you can put one master, one little one, and, and one tank marine, and these are very cheap options for HQ as well. So I think they are uh, on the same slot, and they are really there to support your vehicles. And we are going to see that the last one, yeah, we have finished here. So we go to the troops. I was looking for this. Yeah, these are the primary little one, little ones. Uh, the same as the other ones. It's giving the same type of advantage. Uh, company here in the deployment all yeah, you can they, you put uh, units of two and then you can split them so the primary is is uh, 70 points and this regular is 60 points so primary is 10 points more and for 10 points more you have one win additional and one attack if you go to the close combat i uh, if you want him to go to the close combat to go to the chaplain i will think to take the elite one 
although have not the jump pack version, if you use the the, the interrogator chaplain to, to go with the interrogator chaplain, I will use the Lithuanian um, with the jump pack. Uh, it's going to be uh, to have the same speed. Uh, if you want to boost or to help the bikes, you need to put the jump pack. It's going to be a little bit slower, but of course, with movement six, they cannot be able to follow the bikes. So all depends what you want to use them uh, or which type of units you want to support. But the Lithuanians are there to support and give a little bit of close combat, uh, as well as the masters. I will say that um, the characters are becoming uh, more and more. I think most of the characters are there as a supporting and to boost the other units. And that's all for here. So if I have to choose. Uh, three of these characters that I would like to use. I will say that uh, I like a lot the Librarian as a supporting unit. Uh, I think all have the role. Uh, if you go for oriented to close combat, I will use the Interrogator Chaplain. If you go more into the shooting, I will use the Master. Uh, I will always use a Lithuanian. If you go to the close combat, I will keep the Lithuanian and into the close combat. And if you go more on a shooting army, I will keep the Lithuan uh, uh, with just a regular motor and keep him in the backyard as to, to synergize with the master. If you don't want to spend any point on HQ, go for the Tech Marines. They are the cheapest one. And especially if you go having vehicles, even if you use, you, you're using land speeders, you can increase the survivability of these land speeders just by putting um, a Tech Marine next to them. Uh, I guess he also can repair a Tech Marine I need to check here, but I guess the tank marine can repair uh, the uh, Samael. I'm just giving Samael. This is not a vehicle. I guess can repair. There's a mule. Can repair the Samael uh, in yeah. Can repair the Samael in Saberclaw, and also can repair the Ravenwind Talon Master. So. Yeah, this is very very expensive, it's 200 points, but if you put 50 points the tank marine next to him, and he can give some wounds back, 6 wounds. Uh, to be fair, if I go for a land speeder, and I will prefer to have the sun mile in Savile Claw. And the main reason is because have the 4 plus in vulnerable safe, I'm just checking one thing. Because the problem of this guy does not have the invulnerable save of all the other characters, of all the other masters. And that's all. That's all for now. I hope you find this review interesting. And please leave in the comments below what is your, uh, the, uh, your favorite character from the HQ, from the regular HQ. That's all for now. Uh, as usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.